this is a non-parallel, what I call a non-parallel magnetic force field. It is pulling a steel objects through its canal. If I drop this ball right here, ever so slightly, it will start to roll that way. It's out about approximately that much in four feet. You can kind of see there between the table and the level. I put these balls in there and they get pulled uphill. No problem. Whatsoever. These are steel balls, three quarters of an inch in diameter. These are half inch by one inch long. Magnets set in wood. All of these are facing south. All those are facing south. If you take a magnet and go like this, the arrow is pointing north. So the magnet is pointing north at this at this point. This magnet is now pointing north. If I turn this magnet around like this, this magnet is now pointing. It's pointing in the same direction as the, as the compass. North is now down here where the red part is, okay? So that means that this is north as well on the magnet, okay? So that's how it works. This will not work unless you put the magnets in properly. You have to be done just exactly right or it will not work. They're all heading in the same direction. These are north. These are south. So they're pulling on each other all the way through. As soon as you turn one magnet around, it will stall and not work. Okay, I turned around the number 5 magnet, which is this one, and the number 10 magnet over here, which is right around here. Number 10 magnet, I turned around as well, just to show you what would happen. So, it slows down a little bit there, and it stalls there completely, because the forces are a little stronger in this area. Again, there it is, it slows down, stalls completely. Okay, these are 36 inches long, inch and a half wide. The magnets are set in about three quarters of an inch into the wood. Here we've got approximately an inch and a half, inch and five eighths. That the wood is apart from its from each other, each piece. And here we've got five inches. Okay. So at that angle, we have this type of acceleration from this point, which is about 28 inches from this end of our bar magnet configuration, 28 inches. I've got some empty space here, just the way it worked out. Okay, but here's our acceleration there. Okay, I brought the the wood closer together. This is now three and a half inches at this point. Now here's the acceleration at three and a half inches. It seems like it might be a little faster, which is surprising to me actually, but it looks like it accelerates faster from the beginning. It also extremely surprising to me that it mattered at all which way the magnets were going. So, uh, this very simple demonstration shows how the linear motion with magnets. force gets stronger the closer the magnets are to the steel balls. So the magnet rails, for how long they are, they might not be that long. I might decide that we don't have enough, we're not getting enough uh, actual power maybe perhaps in this area right here. So when it's finally complete after many tests, we'll decide how long these rails should be. Because if we get more power when they're closer together, then having shorter rails might be a better idea than having more of them in the motor.
It might not look like this really means much, but it really does, uh, because there are much more powerful ways of using these types of configurations to create motion. This is just, uh, these are just ball bearings, and therefore, since they're round, the amount of force that the magnets are actually able to pull on them is not as great as if they were cylinders, like a shaft going through here. So one of the things that I'm going to do is uh, take these, so now that we figured out how to make linear motion and how what the angle has to be and the length has to be, now I can turn these into a circle. I can turn the wood into a circle and build it into a motor and uh, get some free energy out. So anyway, there's 36 magnets in each one of these. And uh, whether this looks like success, success or not, this is success. Today is May 5th, 2009. I started on this yesterday, drilling the holes in these pieces of wood to connect a whole bunch of magnets together to make what are like long bar magnets. Since they are a whole bunch of little magnets put together, there's actually 36 magnets in each one of these pieces of wood, so that's 72 magnets total. But since they are pieced together and not one piece, these pieces of wood can be turned into a circle to create rotary motion. Yesterday, I really didn't have any idea which way the magnets had to be magnetized or anything to get this type of system to work. The last two days have been very good days for discovering the truth about magnets. Check. Check. That's a little better.